Hey there, I'm Jen from Escapod Trailers. We are gonna continue the user video manual for you with a full overview of the galley features. So for starters, we wanna give you an overview of the layout here. Um, every trailer that we sell comes with uh, cabinet faces that are convertible. This one turns into a table that you can mount on either side of the trailer. We'll give you a full overview of that a little bit later. And this one turns into a cutting board that you can use for food prep. This trailer has a few upgraded options here. The Dometic CFX 35 fridge. Normally on all standard options, you get a Yeti 65 liter uh, Tundra cooler on these 400 pound locking drawer slides. This ENO two burner stove. Uh, and then this trailer also has a heater. Um, the heater unit is installed underneath here, which heats inside of the cabin. So the standard model here would come with this larger drawer on the bottom with a smaller silverware drawer up top. All right, now we're gonna go into some more detail about the actual functionality and using the galley. So for starters, you'll see up here is a little light switch for this LED strip light. Provides plenty of light outside when you're cooking at night. And then we'll show you how to access the cabinet space back here. So you just slide these toggles over and then you can access all of this cabinet space. As I mentioned earlier, this is removable and turns into a table that you can mount on either side of the trailer. For now, I'll just move that out of the way so you can get a sense of this. Um, this customer does have an inverter. We'll go into more detail later. So they have access to 110 volt power in the galley in case you wanna use any household appliances in your galley. Over here, we have your cutting board, which again, you simply slide that toggle over to the side and this just drops right out and you can use that surface as a cutting board. This side has ample storage. It's about 20 inches tall in there, so you can store some taller items, cereal boxes, wine bottles, and the like. One thing to mention while we're on the topic of tall items that you might have in your galley is to be really mindful to not leave anything on the counter that is going to stick up past the sidewall on the side of the trailer. Our hatch door here is on gas struts, so it has a nice soft close and self-open once you get it up just enough. But if you leave tall items on here, you run the risk of damaging this Baltic birch surface on the interior of the hatch.